It is an eventful weekend in Springfield from entertainment and music to a triathlon. 22 News reporter Kaylee Collins takes a closer look at all this excitement. Springfield, the place to be Saturday and Sunday with entertainment galore. Things kicked off with the start of Restaurant Week on Friday, the salute to local business, an added bonus for those making their way downtown for the Bruno Mars performances at the Mass Mutual Center. It's great. Anything that we can do to add value to our city is great. Another major event drawing in crowds, the Ironman Triathlon. The race begins with a 1.2 mile swim course from the North End Bridge to Memorial Ave. Then comes the cycling portion of the competition, a 56 mile loop toward the Berkshires and back to West Springfield. The last portion of the race is a two loop run course along the Connecticut Riverwalk that finishes in downtown Springfield. Race preparations have been underway all week with a bike check in held at Riverfront Park on Saturday morning, and that's where you can really get a sense of all the excitement among these athletes. 22 News spoke to two race competitors, both brand new to the Ironman Triathlon. I really like to try things that scare me. Um, I like to see how far I can go. I like to try to push myself and achieve something kind of cool like this. About 2020, I had bariatric surgery in Holyoke, and um, so I lost about 90 pounds right around there. So with that came like this like new exercise regimen, but it, I kind of found my inner athlete again. Leanne and Lisa are among the 1,200 athletes partaking in the race. With so much on the agenda, changes to traffic flow are in place. In Springfield, Court Street closed for most of the day, both Saturday and Sunday, and several roads in the downtown and Riverfront Park area will also be closed on Sunday. The city recommends spectators park at MGM Springfield Garage, the I-91 South and North parking garages, Monarch Place, and Tower Square. A full list of road closures and parking recommendations can be found on our website, wwlp.com. It's quite an exciting weekend for Springfield. Working for you, Kaylee Collins, 22 News.